Alright guys, so as you all are probably aware, the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle official Facebook page just announced the release of the two new characters that are coming to Dokkan Battle Global. And those are both the Super Saiyan 3 Tech Goku, Angel, and the Masked Saiyan Bardock. So, super hyped, super freaking hyped. I know the first thing you guys are probably wondering is, should you pull on the banner? So let's go ahead to the JP side and take a look at what the banner was. This banner had a lot of good units. Now, this is not saying that these are going to be the units that are going to be available on Global, but this is a high probability. We'll probably know tomorrow within the next day or two. I do not know when this is actually going to be released. I don't think this actually says the date that it's coming out, so we're just going to have to stay tuned and find out when, when that's actually going down. I'm assuming it's going to be this probably this week, like around Thursday or Friday, just because the World Tournament is still running and they're not going to release. They usually don't release Dokkan events, at least from my mem memory, right off the top of my head. They never released a Dokkan event during the middle of a World Tournament, so it's probably going to come right after the World Tournament. If not this Thursday, Friday, then probably on Sunday, Monday. Anyway, uh, Super Saiyan 3, Strength... Uh, Vegeta the tank, he's really good, he's a really good unit actually, I like him, um, I already have him, I wouldn't want him personally anymore, uh, he is good for certain events to have on a super strength team, uh, or a mono burly strength team, sometimes he will come in handy just because he's such a freaking tank, he does have a restrictive passive, which means he's only going to tank for like the first like 6 or 7 turns, but he's not a bad unit. Kaioken Blue Goku, if you don't have him, he's a good unit. Yes, the Angel, uh, the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the non-Kaioken version, is better when you have dupe system fed into him, but this is still a good card. Uh, obviously, the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, the tech one, which is going to run on the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku team, because he is tech, super tech. Uh, the Intelligence, Trunks, and Vegeta, the Rage Trunks, and the Vegeta, two cards who I don't have that I very much lack, that I would really like. Uh, and then Mass Saiyan Bardock, which is another good one, and the regular Bardock. <clears throat> so... We actually have a lot, a lot to cover. Uh, usually in my videos, I will do like a card review of the banner of the new cards on top of some of the Dokkan Awakenings, then a team building uh, guide. I will not be doing a team building guide here just because I'm already, I already have so much to go over. So the first one we're going to go over just to get out of the way because I know a lot of you guys are probably going to want this review. I will also not be going over the un-Dokkan versions of these guys. I'll just be going over the Dokkan versions. So it's the Extreme Power Brawl Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. This is going to be the leader. He Dokkan Awakens with 70 of the medals from the event that's going to be coming the event is not hard but it's not easy either um if you have I, you know i don't actually have a team building guide for this so i'm not going to go and try and t say off of the top of my head but uh, i know that the event is not horrible but it is a pain in the butt so he is leader skill super tech type key plus three hp attack and defense plus 120 and then extreme tech type key plus one hp attack and defense plus 50 percent now he also is underneath the revived warrior category so if you guys are thinking in the future what teams you would like to build if you're looking for a revived warrior team he's not that bad the thing is revived warrior typically has a lot of villains <clears throat> for in terms of uh super types i did a video on that a couple days ago there are not a lot of super types for this category. I think it's Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, and there's one other super one that, that, that he will actually link with, uh, but not too many. Anyway, uh, super attack is Super Dragon Twin Fists causes immense damage with rare chance to stun the enemy. Eh, that's cool, I like it. Attack plus 120% and attack plus 20% per rainbow key orb obtained. So that is a max of 5. I believe total that you could actually get with the rainbow key uh, and that is assuming you have an entire field full of rainbow not horrible don't get me wrong an immense damage multiplier or, yeah immense damage multiplier with a 12 key multiplier of 140 he, he's really not that hard um a total of 100 percent attack increase so that's 220 percent total that he can possibly have chances are you're only gonna get one to two rainbow um with this so it's not too impressive but he still does hit really hard uh, his link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Shane Lineage, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking, Form, Revival, and, su and Fierce Battle. Now, <clears throat> the one thing about these link skills are he does link pretty damn well with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, but that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, when linked with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, will not be getting off that 11 key um, super attack anymore just because he has the Over in a Flash and prepare. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, there was one other one in here that he had that he links. I think it was like. There's one other in here. It's very difficult for him to actually have that uh, 11 key go off. So when you guys are keeping them linked together, just remember that. Um, it is a pain in the butt to try and get that off. Max stats are HP of 10, 625, attack of 11, 350, and defense of 4625. Uh, like I said before, 12 key multiplier of 140. He does have a card, which I'm going to be going over, uh, that can be used to farm to raise his super attack. That is the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. I'll be going over him in a bit. I just wanted to let you know that he is farmable, like farmable, farmable, not semi farmable. You could actually grind them out. I actually have all my Super Saiyan 2 Angels ready to get Dokkan Awaken at this point in the game. Um, his medal from the event, 
Doken Awakens, these three Gokus. Now, this is the Goku I was talking about from the event. There's a two Super Saiyan 2 Gokus that also Doken Awaken from this event. Uh, first, one, we're going to talk about the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Um, this is the Breaking Barrier Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Not a very good unit, very old school unit. Um, he does supreme damage, but I believe he does one. Okay, so he does 130, but you can tell he's old school just because he doesn't have prepared for battle. So that's kind of how you tell old school Su Super Saiyan cards. He Doken Awakens into returning from the Otherworld Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. Now, leader skill is tech and physical type, key plus 3, HP and defense plus 70%, supreme damage again, passive skill is a little bit more viable for his friends, attack, uh, key plus 5, and attack plus 12,000 as the third attacker in the turn, so that's actually pretty damn good, 12,000, not amazing, you're probably not going to want to run him on your team, but he will always, always super tech, he's super self-reliant. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamea, Maya Saiyan Warrior Race, Prepared for Battle, there it is, and Fierce Battle. So he does have that Fierce Battle link, which you're going to want. Um, he's also in Revive Warrior, Warrior category. Max stats are HP of 9246, Attack of 8333, and Defense of 4495, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Overall, not bad. That's the one you're going to primarily run, but he's not a bad unit. The next one we're going to talk about, if the page actually wants to load, is the 24-hour Revival Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel. Now, this is the physical type. Let's click on the next one, just so it starts to load for me. Um... <laughs> The, uh, this one is not that bad. This is the, the base form of physical Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. He is available from Baba's Treasures, so you can you can go ahead and grab him. I believe he's a 777 Baba Treasure uh, reward. Uh, I believe I do actually have him, so he's pretty. it's pretty cool. Passive skill, key plus 2, attack plus 3,000. He Doken Awakens into... Uh, Burgeoning Strength, or Burgeoning Strength, I can't pronounce it, I'm not good with English. <laughs> Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. A leader ability is Physical and Strength Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 30%. So he is a mini lead, guys, that you could actually get for Physical and Strength Type units, which is really awesome. His Super Attack is Super Dragon Twin Fist, causes Supreme Damage with Rare Chance to Stun. Passive Skill, Time Bound Transformation. Key plus 3, an Attack and Defense plus uh, 7,000 at the start of the turn. So he's very self-reliant, which is very useful. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, Revival, and Fierce Battle. He's going to be very good with the Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks that's going to be coming out in a little bit. So just keep that in mind. Um, he's a really good unit. Um, not someone who you're primarily going to run, but if you're definitely lacking the best units, he will be someone you can run. Again, he's a really decent card. Not bad. And he's in the Revived Warrior category. Max stats are HP of 9949, attack of 7471, and defense of 4723. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 130%. He also technically can have a super attack raised uh, by the same exact Goku that I'm going to be going over in a minute. The, the, the Technique Ultra Rare ones that are farmable. I wouldn't recommend it. That's way too much of a freaking grind uh, for you to actually use them on him personally, I believe. Uh, but you can do it. So let's go ahead and talk about the one that is actually farmable as well. Uh, so this is the one that he's going to be Doken Awakening from. It's the Overflowing Resolve Goku. This is his base form. This is when you first start the game. So all of you OGs who started the game in the beginning of the like beginning of the Dokkan time, <laughs> who started this with me, uh, this is the first character you can actually get from an event. Epic talk, uh, time for an epic showdown. This is uh, actually enough talk, time for an epic showdown. This is the event. You go ahead, you could run this, level one an epic showdown. You get this Goku, you have to get the freeze of medals in order to Doken Awaken him. Uh, you need one Goku medal, actually that Goku medal, I forgot where the heck that's from. I'm not going to go over full on that on detail. I'll do a full uh, farming guide for that for you guys. Uh, he Doken Awakens into the message from another world, Goku Angel, which is an agility character, which is actually interesting that he Dokens into a different attribute type. Uh, then he goes into the legendary Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, this is going to be another decent, no, actually he's not really a decent character at all. Um, well, he is just a card that you can use. This one you could farm into other Super Saiyan Gokus as well, so he is farmable. This one Doken Awakens into the flawless technique, Super Saiyan Goku Angel. Uh, this one isn't amazing because there's no really other Super Saiyan Angel Goku cars, but this is where you're going to want to go up until the uh, the event in order to Doken Awaken him. He does Doken Awaken. I don't know how many medals is actually required, but he Doken Awakens into heading for a showdown Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku. Uh, it wasn't actually shown in here. That's why I don't know. Um, I think it's probably going to be 35. That would make sense. His leader ability with the newest Dokkan form is... It's a little mini lead, actually. Leader skill, tech type, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%. <clears throat> super attack is Super Kamehameha. It causes supreme damage to the enemy. Passive skill to even higher levels. High chance of attack plus 880%, which is freaking awesome. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Over in a Flash, Limit Breaking Form, Blazing Battle, and Fierce Battle. So this card is super freaking viable. 
on a team, especially for you guys who are brand new to the game. I'm going to tell you right now that this card is really going to be good for you because especially if you don't have the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and we don't have the LR Zama, or sorry, Zamasu and uh, Zamasu, <laughs> Rose and Zamasu technically. Uh, so this is going to be your best bet for a tech leader if you don't have anyone else other than maybe the Baba Shop tech leader, but that doesn't give key at this time. Um, obviously this guy is also Revive Warrior, max stats of 95-84, attack of 77-62, and defense of 45-41, 12 key multiplier of 135%, again, overall not really that bad, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and close out of some of these tabs to freaking free up some, uh, RAM over here so that way my, uh, my browser doesn't crash. Uh, anyway, the next one we're gonna go ahead and talk about is the one everyone wanna know about, uh, the Masked Saiyan Bardock Shrouded in Mysteries, Masked Saiyan Bardock. He Doken Awakens with 77 medals from his own uh, event. He gets his own event, guys. Uh, he Doken Awakens into... Hold on. Well, actually, let's just go ahead and do this really quick. So he Doken Awakens with his own medals. His Doken Awakening allows him to Doken Awaken the Strength, the Physical, and the Tech Bardocks as well. Actually, the, the, the Strength and the Physical ones are the two that I'm, we're going to talk about. Like, we're going to talk about all of them, but they, those two are really, really good. You're going to want to focus on those two, depending on the team you're going to run. I'll talk about that in a minute. Dark Intentions, Mass Saiyan Bardock. Now, this is going to be the Dokun variant of him. Leader abilities, all types key, plus 3 HP attack and defense, plus 50%. Guys, this is the Rainbow Leader. For those of you who have not been following the JP side of Dokkan Battle, this guy is going to allow you to run anyone on his team with a key and a stat buff. All right? So if you have, like, three or four really good cards and they are a mixture of attributes and villains versus heroes and stuff, this guy is going to allow you to run them. Now, I don't know how many events are actually going to be able to take on with him with the 50% buff only. But who knows, we, you might be able to utilize him on a, some of the harder events. Uh, either way, he is an extreme character, if I'm not mistaking, mistaken. So he's going to run decently on the extreme Super Saiyan 3 Brawly team if he comes out soon. Uh, when he comes out soon. Uh, anyway, so Super Attack is Dark Rebellion Trigger. Causes immense damage to the enemy and lowers attack and defense. Kind of wish that was greatly lowers. That would be pretty awesome, but it does lower attack and defense. Passive skill, Shadowy Strength. Attack plus 50,000 and defense plus 20,000 when facing two or less enemies. So it's only a flat out boost, but that's still gonna hold a lot of relevance for a while. He's not gonna be the hardest hitter, but he's gonna be a good hitter. And when facing two or less enemies is almost all the time. So, and the other thing is, if I'm not mistaken, once you get down to two or less enemies, his passive skill goes off. So you just need to get a couple of the enemies out of the way and then he'll actually get that attack increase. Link skills are the Saiyan Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, over 9,000, uh, prepare for battle and fierce battle. Now, I'm pretty sure he has Berserker because he's going to be on that Broly team. I'm pretty sure that Broly has it. But overall, pretty good link skill set. Uh, not not amazing, but he's going to be good for Saiyans. Uh, max stats are HP of 10,095, attack of 9548, and defense of 4143 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Um, actually, we have some max dupe system over here. Max dupe system base is 12,095 for HP and 14,695 for maximum. Attack base dupe system is 11,548. And max is 14,948. Defense is 61,43 for base. And max is 91,43. Overall, really good unit. Now, the strength Bardock and the physical Bardock are two that I'm really primarily concerned about. Uh, the strength one, Token Awakens with 35 medals into this Bardock. Chance of a super evolution, Super Saiyan 2 Bardock. His leader ability is all types key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%, so he is a little mini leader as well. So if you didn't pull the Khalifla and you don't pull the other Mass Saiyan Bardock, that he's going to be a good leader skill, a good leader for you. Not a great leader, a decent leader. Someone if you don't have any good stat buffs. So those of you who are saying, oh, he's a he's a crappy leader. No, he's not a crappy leader. He's, he's not a great leader, don't get me wrong, but he's not a crap leader. All right, he will help you get through the old school Doken events to get stronger characters so that way you can use them in the newer events when you get the better leaders. Uh, Super Attack Final Spirit Cannon causes supreme damage to the enemy and raises his attack for six turns. Six turn at attack buff is nuts. Um, again, he's not going to be doing a lot of damage, but that, that he's going to be doing decent damage with that. He's going to be on rotation, though, because his passive skill is Roar and Courage. Attack plus 30% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. That's really good, actually. Um, all allies means it's unrestrictive to any type or any attribute, so um, you're gonna you can run him on a lot of different teams just because of that. Uh, link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Family Ties, uh, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. 
So he's primarily going to be used on a Super Saiyan 3 or Super Saiyan 4 Goku team, uh, just because he is a super type and he gives an attack buff of 30%, especially when the Kaba comes out, you're going to be running the two of them in tandem. So just keep that in mind. He's also part of the revived uh, warrior category, so he's going to be giving that buff up to the revived warriors. Uh, max stats are going to be HP of 9907, attack of 90, uh, 7956, and defense of 4637, with a 12 key multiplier of only 130%. Um, I'm not going to talk about his potential here. You can go ahead, pause the video if you want to read that, or you can just go to Dokkan Battle. Uh, the Wikipedia for Dokkan Battle, and you can look at him up there. The next one is going to be the Physical Bardock, Fist of a Conviction, Super Saiyan Bardock. Dokkan Awakens with 35 of those Mass Saiyan Bardock medals. He tokens into Courage in the Heat of Battle, Super Saiyan Bardock. <coughs> Leader ability is all types key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus uh, 20%. Now, one thing I don't understand is one's 30%, HP attack and defense plus 30, and the other is 20. I feel like they should have given him key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 20% if they were going to do that, but whatever, I don't understand. Uh, super attack is spirit of uh, Saiyans, causes supreme damage, and seals a super attack, so he still maintains his sealing ability. Passive skill, thirsting strength, key plus 2, and attack plus 20% for all allies when HP is 30% or above. So he lacks the 10% of attack in his passive, but he gives an additional 2 key, which is super, super useful depending on the team that you're running. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Family Ties, Team Bardock, Saiyan Pride, Prepare for Battle, The First Awakened, and Fierce Battle, and is part of the Revived Warrior category. Overall, really damn nice Link skill set. Um, you can definitely utilize him in a lot of different teams. Specifically, you're going to really want to utilize him on the Mono Super uh, Physical Team. Uh, if you're going to run that Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks when he comes out, the physical one when he comes out, uh, you're, that, that 2 key kind of sucks because, you again, you don't want that physical Gotenks to be getting that 12 key off. You want the 11 key, but there's really nothing you can do about that. Chances are it's going to be going off, uh, depending on the team you're going to run. Uh, max stats are HP of 10,190, attack of 7,842, defense of 4,641 with a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Overall, decent unit, really like him, he will be viable, and chances are if you do run him, you're going to have double sealers on your freaking team because you're also going to want to run that Super Saiyan Go Tanks, uh, the one that seals, and he's going to be a primary unit you're going to use on the monophysical team. So these two in tandem will be really good. Last but not least is the Furious Attack Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, this is going to be the Orb Changing Bardock, and he Doken Awakens again, 35 medals. Doken Awakens into Furious Charge Super Saiyan Bardock. His leader ability is Tech, tech and Agility type, Key plus 3, HP and defense plus 70%. Super attack is Spirit of Saiyans, Supreme Damage and Seals Attack, Passive Skill, Swift Incisions, Change Strength to Tech Type. Now also guys, just keep in mind, he is going to be LR Goku's best friend, so he's still going to be a little bit viable on a mono, uh, mono technique team if you are going to be running the uh, LR Goku, assuming you don't have other good units. Uh, so attack plus 40% is also his passive, he gets that nice buff now with the Doken Awakening. Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Family Ties, Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Pride, The First Awakened, Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. So now he gets Fierce Battle. And he's also, again, Revived Warrior. Max stats are HP of 9152, Attack of 8296, and Defense of 4590, with a 12 key multiplier of 135%. Again, if you want to read these max stats, go ahead and pause the video so that way you could read them or go to the Dokkan Wiki. So I just went over all the new Dokkan Awakenings and the banner cards. Um, I personally think this banner is really, really good, guys. I like it. There are a lot of decent units in here, and as you see on the right-hand screen, there's a lot of other units you can get. Uh, no LRs, though, unfortunately, no LRs, but there are some decent units in this banner overall, uh, especially the, the the flagship cards. The Intelligence Vegeta is going to be really good for a mono-intelligence team, especially that mono that Intelligence Trunks. Uh, those two are going to be really, really good uh, when you get those two on that mono uh, hero intelligence team. The Mass Saiyan Bardock, he's a staple on a lot of teams. Uh, he's a staple as a leader. You can run so many good units with him if you get him. But obviously, the primary choice is going to be that tech lead. That tech lead is going to be very good. And again, guys, I know I'm at like a 20-minute mark just going over all the Dokken Awakenings that are going to be available on this banner uh, or with this event that's coming out. This event and these, this banner is pretty damn decent. One thing I will say, though, on the JP side, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku did come out with the Super Gogeta banner, the Intelligent Super Gogeta banner, which we should probably have by December. Uh, that's just an assumption. I don't have any official information on that, but he should be on that banner. So if he is on that banner and that's the only card you're looking for, you might want to hold off before you pull on it. Go ahead and grind out the event to get those medals. Uh, stay tuned as well because I will be doing a full event for card team building. And I'll probably do a separate video, which I'll, I'll honestly end up doing tomorrow morning. 
um, for how to Doken Awaken the card that feeds into Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, just so that you have a full in-depth analysis on how to do that. But anyway, guys, that's my review. I would give this banner a thumbs up if you want multiple units from here. If you're only going with the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, he will be available in the future, and I would say hold off at that point. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you are new, and I'll catch you all later.